You'd have to be living under a rock. Or many rocks, actually, not to have heard that this big old thing, the Great Barrier Reef, is in a spot of trouble. But from pictures like this, that may seem hard to believe. The reef covers 2,500 k's off the coast of Queensland, and 2 million people flock to it every year, all keen to check out the super colourful coral and the more than 1,600 species of fish that call it home. But all of this prettiness isn't the whole story. In some parts, there's hardly any life left at all. So what's to blame? Well, the biggest issue here is coral bleaching. That can happen when water gets too warm. See, what we know of as coral is actually cities, if you will, of tiny animals called polyps. Algae live in the polyps, and polyps feed off the algae. Working together, they're happy and pretty and colourful. Yay! The very, very essential thing about corals is they build their own place to live. Corals have got together with algae to build things that nothing on Earth could possibly rival. That's how they live. And I reckon that's as fascinating as, as biology can get. But if the sea gets too warm, the algae's forced out and the coral turns white. And if the sea stays warm for too long, algae never come back and the coral can die. Bacteria and seaweeds take over. End of friendship. Coral can recover if sea temps drop in time, but if it keeps happening and happening too frequently, that becomes much less likely. And that's exactly what scientists believe is happening right now because of climate change. So the interval between pairs of repeated bleaching events globally is shrinking. So climate change is a huge threat, but it doesn't just raise temperatures either. Another issue is ocean acidification. Oceans absorb carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. If there's more of it in the air, more ends up in the ocean, which makes it more acidic. That can affect sea life, as this, again, colourful, but slightly sad cartoon illustrates. There are many more things being thrown at the reef. Runoff from the land can carry nutrients and sediments into the reef, along with farm chemicals. That can lead to outbreaks of these little guys, crown of thorn starfish. They can eat their body weight worth of coral every day and have worked through large parts of the reef already. Another issue is cyclones and storms. They're not just damaging on land, they can destroy coral in shallow water, which can take hundreds of years to grow back. So they're just some of the threats facing the reef. And scientists say more needs to be done to address them as soon as possible. For us and for the creatures that call it home. Thank you.